This video is going to really upset and frustrate a lot of you guys because you've been operating from a position of weakness for a very long time. Your software has not been updated and you're thinking like it's the 1920s and 1930s. Meanwhile, every woman that you interact with behind your back, she is living a non-traditional lifestyle. She's sleeping around, she's doing different things, and you're trying to come to women like a beta male. You're trying to act subservient and try to win her over, but that's not the right thing to do. See, most men think that, oh, in order for me to get sex, I have to do a lot of different things. I have to check off all these boxes. Then I can invite her back to my place, okay? Little do you know that if a woman is really, really into you, you don't have to do any of that, all right? Now, I came across a comment, and we'll leave this guy's name anonymous. He says, but isn't this advice counterproductive? Because in the video before, I said, hey, be direct with women. Be upfront. Be straightforward and let them know what you want. So he says, isn't this advice counterproductive? You can't ask a woman for sex and expect her to say yes. See, this is how the beta male thinks. This is how the guys who never really had a woman desire them for them, they think that they always have to pull out their wallet. This is why you see a lot of guys in the comment section sometimes and they say, oh, they comment ATM or they comment, uh, just break out your wallet or sure, a wad of cash. That's because those guys, and you've probably said it here and there too, you haven't had a woman really lust after you and really just want to have sex with you for you, unfortunately, right? So he says, you can't ask a woman for sex and expect her to say yes, because that's not how it works. You got to take her out, build her some trust, give her a good time, some flirting, then you can ask her to come back but not just ask her to Netflix and chill. Never will work. And he put LOL, so you know he, he can't be taken serious. So let's break this whole uh, comment down. So being direct with the woman is the way you should go. If you're not direct, you're being passive. And I said this before, if you want to have sex with a woman, if you don't just tell her up front what's going to happen is she's going to be in control of the playing field. She's not going to know what you want. See, beta males are very passive. Nice guys are passive because they want to have sex with a woman, but they feel as though, well, if I tell her I want to have sex and if I tell her just come back to my place and let's watch a movie, let's have some wine or I'll, I'll cook some dinner. If I tell her to come straight to my place on her first date, then uh, she's going to see me as a creep. See, but that's the thing. You want her to see you as a creep because you're able to weed out that type of woman who's not actually into you. The women who are into you guys, you won't have to take them out. I know this is kind of counterintuitive to what you've been brought up and taught. And I used to think that many, many years back myself. I used to think, well, let me take her out and do all this stuff. And then afterwards, I'll uh, invite her back to my place and hopefully she comes. Here's what's wrong with that thinking as well. Let's say you take her out and you do all these different things. Let's say you take her to get some uh, some drinks, and then you take her to a nice movie and a nice restaurant. And then after you do all that, at the end of the night, you say, okay, so you want to come back to my place? You know what she can say? Oh, no, I don't want to do it. Oh, I, I, I got to go to work tomorrow. I'm getting kind of tired. So guess what? You wasted all that time, all that money, as opposed to just inviting her to your place the first time, okay? And also, when you go this route, the route of trying to uh, build trust, like this uh, guy said in the comment section, uh, and, and, and flirt and do all this stuff like that and beat around a bush, what's going to happen is she's going to say, oh, this guy is looking for more of a good girl, more of a girl that's going to you know take it easy and take it slow, right? So when you start doing all these different things and taking her out and, and, and buying her food and all this stuff like that, you're wasting your time. OK, because a woman knows right away, I'm telling you guys, if she's going to have sex with you, if you're physically attractive. So no amount of meals, no amount of jokes you tell her, no amount of drinks you buy her. None of that is going to matter. OK, because if she does not physically find you attractive, she does not lust after you here. Your bank account means nothing. Your wallet means nothing. You're just wasting your time. And on top of that, you're being disingenuous. I told you guys about this. You're throwing salt in the game because 
you are trying to come to her in a manipulative fashion. You know you want to have sex, but you said, okay, well, let me try to, uh, you know, weasel my way into uh, the bedroom and, and buy her stuff. And, and then hopefully I'll, let me try to get her back to my place. You're trying to buy her. Okay. Don't do that. You might as well pay a streetwalker for that if you really want to have sex. And here's the other thing. He says, you got to take her out, build her some trust, give her a good time. Why is she not giving you a good time? Why is she not trying to win your trust over? You see how this uh, sort of pedestalization happens? Also, let's just say hypothetically, she says, hey, um, can I come? Let's just go back to your place the first time. I, I don't really want to go out. Let's just say she wants to come back to your place. Are you going to stop and say, oh, let me build some trust? How, how about we just go out to eat first? Let's, let me show you a good time first. No. You know what you're going to do? You're going to say, oh, yeah, come on back. Right. So why not be straightforward and direct with women? This is killing your success with females because you think that you have to do a whole bunch of different things just to get sex. You don't have to do that. Matter of fact, the more you do for a woman, the less likely she's going to want to put out and have sex with you because she's in the driver's seat. She knows that she's in control. She knows that she can say this and do this and, and you've already put in a whole bunch of work and you've already put in a lot of effort and money so she can give you the sex when she wants, right? She has you uh, held hostage. So all you guys think that, well, I got to, you know, do all this stuff. I got to flirt. I got to tell her jokes. I got to take her out to eat. I can't just uh, invite her back for Netflix and chill because it'll never work. Those are the type of guys who don't get sex often. Because I can tell you right now, if a woman is into you, she's not going to uh, make you take her out. The women who say, oh, you have to take me out on a date. Guess what? She's not into you. She's not. I know it's kind of hard for you to fathom and realize that, man, I don't have to take a woman out. No, you don't. You should take a woman out because you want to, because you feel like it. Now, if you just want to take a woman out on a date and do these different things, and, and that's fine. But if you're taking her out just to have sex with her at the end of the night, you don't really want to take her out like that. And this is where nice guys, this is where guys like this get it wrong, okay? Don't do this. If you want to have sex with a woman, if you find her really attractive, if you want to make things happen, you don't need to take her out. All you need to do is say, hey, listen, uh, I'm going to cook some dinner. I'm going to have some wine in my place and let, let, let's watch a couple movies. If she says yes, which most likely she will, you're in the driver's seat, right? Too many guys are, are, you're going way over here. You're going over here. You're going over here. And then you wonder why you're so upset and frustrated with women. And you say, well, they're just here to take my money. They're just here to use me. They're, they're all hypergamous. They're, they're going to take your money. No, no woman is going to just straight up take your money. You have to give it to them. You have to do all that stuff. So at the end of the day, if a woman wants to have sex with you and she finds you desirable and you're at the top of her list, you won't have to take her out and do all these different things. See, guys who do this stuff, who uh, think that uh, you can't just ask her for sex or you can't just ask her to come over. These are the type of guys who get used all the time. Now, here's the thing. She'll go out with you. She'll go out and eat off your dime and, and laugh and, <laughs> and you tell all these jokes and flirt with her. Then she'll give you a hug and kiss on the cheek and say, all right, I'm going to go home. And then you know who she's going to go to? A guy who's direct. A guy like myself who's going to say, hey, uh, you coming over at 9 p.m.? We still on? And she's going to say, oh, yeah, I'll be over. She's going to come over with the doggy bag, say she's been on a date because I've talked to women like that. I've been in those position many times where they just got through going on a date with a guy a few hours before, said, they said, oh, I don't really like that guy. You know, it was, it was okay. He was kind of creepy. And they're at my place. We're having sex. And I did none of that. Don't fall for the bait. Okay. Stop thinking like this. It's going to mess up your game. It's going to destroy your success with women.